This problem we're going to solve for x. Now we have to be careful, x appears at two different locations. We're going to use the definition of a log. I'll write that down first. Log base a of x equals y. That's the same as, and we're using this triple equal sign to compare equations. That's the same as you move the base to the other side. So you have x equals base a to the y power. Before we use that, we have two logs on the left side. So we need to have the property of adding two logs. So log of a plus log of b, it doesn't matter what your base is, uh, will be equal to log with the same base of a times b. So this says addition outside. So addition outside of logs is the same as multiplication inside the log. So we'll do that first on the left side. So first step, we have log of x times x plus 4. Make sure you're properly multiplying the insides. Equals 8. Uh, now we can use the definition. We just used the addition rule. Now we're going to use the uh, definition to change this around. We're moving the base 4 to the other side. Okay, 4 to the 8th power. Uh, that's a big number. That's such a big number that I don't even want to put it into a calculator. So let's just keep going here and see where we can get. So I'm going to distribute my x into here. We have x squared. Uh, there may be some fancier algebra you can do, but I really recommend that you solve for 0. So I distributed my x across. Uh, and I'm going to subtract 4 to the 8th power, leaving us 0 on the right side. So you can go quadratic formula here. You can also go complete the square. Uh, because I have a even term here, I'm going to complete the square on this problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is complete the square. Complete the square. Now, if you don't have an even term here, that's fine. You're, when you complete the square, you're going to get a b over 2. And your b over 2 can just be a fraction. It's no, no problem at all. Uh, all right, so here's our completed square. So it's x plus 2 for me squared minus 2 squared. That takes care of everything I just uh, underlined. You still have the minus 4 to the 8th power. Again, I'm not going to type that into anything. That's a huge number. It's just fine. All right, so we got x appearing one time now. That was the entire reason we did complete the square. So negative 2 squared is uh, negative 4. We're going to add 4 to the other side plus 4 to the 8th power. Square root both sides. This is where our plus minus comes in. Uh, there's really no reduction you can do because addition inside of a square root, there's no simplification really that you can do with that. If it was multiplication, that's a different story. Uh, but addition inside square root can't, uh, there's no simplification there and just subtract two. Negative two plus or minus square root four plus four to the eighth power. There we go. Uh, this is going to be a really big number right here. Uh, 4 to the 8th power is huge, and square root of a huge number is still big. The reason I'm saying this is because we have a plus or a minus. So I'll write the minus first. x equals negative 2 minus some big number. Uh, or, or x equals negative 2 plus a big number. All right, when we plug this up in back up the original, right here, if x is negative, well, that log's not defined. Only defined when x is positive. So this is a negative value. So just that log of x part is undefined. when x is less than 0. So this first solution, we're going to have to throw away because it's negative. So we're only going to have 
the second solution. And again, when you type this in, you want to be careful. Make sure you're going to have to parenthesize when you type it in. And I would uh, check the, it'll show you visually what your answer looks like before you hit submit, just to make sure uh, that it actually looks like the way you wrote it down.